Hello guys, this is Akash and you are watching my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to simulate a stable multivibrator in Multisim. This is a circuit diagram of a stable multivibrator. We will go to the uh, Multisim application and perform the simulation. <laughs> First let us open the Multisim application, we will place them side by side, ok. First we will place a triple phi IC, place component and all groups triple phi, yeah. I will be placing a triple phi IC here and next I will place a VCC of 5 volts. It's in the source, so VCC, 5 volt VCC is placed. And I need grounds, so I will place grounds here. Now I need two resistors R1 and R2, which are 1.2 kilo ohm and 1.7 kilo ohm. So I will go to basic and resistor. First, I will take 1.2 kilo ohm that is R1, and I will place it here, and I will take 1.7 kilo ohm and I will place it here. Yes. Now uh, I need two capacitors, uh, each 0.1 microfarad and 0.01 microfarad. So I'll take 0.1 microfarad and I'll place it here. And 0.01 microfarad is taken as capacitor two, and I'll place this here. Okay. Uh, I think we got all the components that are required. Okay, now we'll connect the components. VCC is given to VCC terminal. I'll take this aside. VCC is connected to VCC point. Uh, we know the uh, pin configuration of triple phi AC. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins are configured as. GT or CT DV. Uh, so 4 and 8 are shorted. That is reset pin and VCC pin are shorted. Okay. And 7th pin and a resistor R1 is connected between 7th and 8th pin R1. 7th pin we know what is 7th pin. 7th pin is GT or CT D. V D is discharge pin. Seventh pin is discharge pin. So I'll place. I'll connect uh, resistor between the discharge pin and VCC. Okay. Now uh, we need to short second and uh, sixth terminals of the IC. No, second terminal is a trigger and sixth terminal is threshold. Okay. I have shorted this. And the resistor is connected between 7th uh, pin and 2nd pin. So, control R, I will rotate this. Okay, I will place this here. The output, yeah. Now, a capacitor C1 is connected uh, across 2nd uh, pin and ground. So, I will rotate this. Capacitor C1 is connected between second and pin and ground okay now we need to connect a, a capacitor c2 between the first and first and fifth pins yeah we know the fifth pin is uh, c that is control pin i'll connect this here i'll place it here and ground terminal yes ground is given here Fine. Now we will get the output from here, third pin. Ok, we will place an oscilloscope in order to check what we are getting as output. I will give the third pin here and the need to terminate to the ground. And we will check uh, this one also, the output across the capacitor C1. So I will be connecting another uh, terminal, uh, another channel of uh, oscilloscope to across capacitor 1 yes. 
I will just change this color so that we can identify the output easily. I will change the segment color, segment color to blue. Okay. Now we will run the simulation. Run. Yeah. And we'll stop the simulation and we'll check the output. Yes, we got the output. Yes, if you see the output of triple uh, five IC is a square wave output. You can see, and the capacitor output it's varying from one by three VCC to two by three VCC. That is. Yeah. This is one by three, and this is two by three. This second, uh, this yellow pin represents this yellow cursor represents uh, one point one by three VCC, and this represents two by three VCC. This is a capacitor output, and this is a triple five AC output. We are getting a square wave of five volt. This is a simulation of a stable multivibrator. We'll do a multi mono stable multivibrator in the next video. Thank you.